But think about the structured improvisation. Masculine is the structure. Feminine is what flows through the structure. And so this is what's the most effective. The structure that somebody can think of in advance and calculate and yes, see possible outcomes and yes, make decisions based on the brilliant mind and use the mind in the most wonderful way because the mind is a gift to humanity. And at the same time, be in the flow by being fully present in the moment and true to the moment. Connected to everything that is, still within the structure, and on one hand to have that schedule and to keep your appointments, and at the same time to be that energy, to be that shakti, to be that flow that comes and then is present at, the, at this appointment. And a lot of power comes from that, from that combination. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the second one that I chose is um, the power of living in grace. We are so driven by a desire to have more. And we're so disappointed when we set our mind that this is something that we want and it doesn't come in and then we're so disappointed that sometimes it's hard for us to move on we tend to forget all the beautiful things that actually do happen we tend to forget being grateful for things and, and instead taking them for granted and only remembering how great it was when those things are gone sometimes we do it to our partners sometimes we do it in reference to our health, sometimes we do it in reference to our living conditions, whatever it is, living in grace means living as a grateful child of God and perceiving things as teachings rather than punishments or rewards, perceiving things as purifications and blessings and um, understanding deeply that as my teacher, um, shaman, uh, Roman Honey says that every purification is a blessing in disguise and just in just looking deeper and seeing deeper um, Deciphering the meanings of things at a very deep level and forgiveness and so that is um, What I call living in grace. It also means living in acceptance allowance Let me pause it's okay, we can yeah. keep it going. Yeah. So it also means living in acceptance, allowance, and thankfulness. It's very helpful. And the third and the last thing is uh, living um, in surrender. Surrendering to love. And what does it mean to surrender to love? And um, I'm so glad that this is the last point. It's such an important point. It is so scary to surrender to love. We have all been hurt many times, multiple amounts of times. And every time we get hurt, there is something that closes up and, and, and makes this promise. I will never allow something like this hurt me again. And this is the moment of when we're protecting ourselves, but we're also armoring ourselves. And then we walk around with this armor. And at some point what happens is that we would love to take this armor off, but we already don't know how to do that. And we would love for the for these tears to melt, but the tears are standing inside of our body and not allowing the energies to flow through. Surrendering to love means recognizing that existence is love, no matter what. Recognizing that life is love. Recognizing that the whole point of creation is the point of love. And surrendering to the idea of creation. Surrendering to the soul of creation. Surrendering to the soul of the world, to the anima mundi. And living from that point with the memory of that. That is power. That is the feminine.